Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you caught my last video, you'll know I've been exploring the exciting ways we can leverage Gemini AI within Google Sheets using AppScript. Well, the great news is Google have just made things even easier with the introduction of a brand new Gemini AI Sheets function. And this is an alpha feature currently in testing available as part of Workspace Labs. So now let's explore how we can use this to help us with tasks you might be doing every day in spreadsheets. First up, let's say you've collected a ton of survey data. Sifting through the individual responses can be time consuming. But with the AI function, we can quickly get a handle on the overall sentiment and the key takeaways from the survey. So let's scroll across to the end column here and I'm gonna double click into this cell and then type in equals AI, then an open bracket, and then I can give Gemini our prompt, our instruction. So in this case, I'm going to ask Gemini to summarize the key themes from this survey data. I want a concise summary, so let's ask Gemini to keep this to one sentence. Okay, so there's our prompt, and now let's give it our data. So in this case, I'm gonna select the entire row of data and then use a close bracket, and now hit enter, and now let's select that cell and select generate and insert, and we can check our prompt is working appropriately. Perfect. So now let's pull this formula down and fill the rest of this column. And then again, we just need to select refresh and insert, and our prompt along with our data we've selected will be sent to Gemini for analysis. And just like that, we've got a concise summary and it's done a really good job of summarizing our survey data for us. You can also use sentiment analysis just as easily. So let's go into our next column again use the equals AI function open bracket and then let's give it our prompt. In this case I'm going to ask Gemini to analyze the sentiment of these survey responses. We could give it a much more detailed prompt, but just for the purposes of this video, let's keep it simple. In this case, I'm going to select these three uh, columns here. And again, just as before, let's use a close bracket and then test out our prompt. Okay, so that's neutral. Let's see what the other results give us here. So let's pull this formula down again and select refresh and insert. And there we go. We can quickly see the emotional tone behind the feedback. This is invaluable for understanding customer satisfaction, or in this case, understanding student feedback about a course. Next, imagine you need to draft personalized emails to parents, summarizing the child's academic performance. Now this can be a pretty repetitive task, but the new AI Sheets function can help, at least with the first draft. So here we've got some example student data for our Hogwarts students. And this shows things such as their attendance and their performance in different academic subjects, as well as how many house points they've earned. And now just as before, let's double click into this cell and type in equals AI, followed by the prompt we want to use. In this case, I've already created a prompt and I'm asking Gemini to create a concise and positive email to parents summarizing the academic performance of their child. And I also want to include the subject scores and attendance. Now let's just update the cell range. So in this case, I want to select uh, this entire row. And now let's press enter and then ask Gemini to generate and insert the results. Perfect, and then just as before, I can pull this formula down to autofill these other cells and then ask Gemini to insert a response into these as well. Perfect, Gemini's done a really good job of crafting a first draft of these emails for us. Finally, let's have a look at one more example. In this case, we're going to use Gemini to translate this email we've just generated. While Google Sheets has its own translation function, the AI function can sometimes offer a more nuanced and context aware translation. So let's double click into this cell and enter equals AI followed by our instruction, which in this case is going to be to translate this English text to Spanish. Then let's provide it the range of data. In this case, just this one cell, use a close bracket, hit enter, and then generate and insert. 
nice and there, it's converted that English text into Spanish. And then just as before, we can autofill this for all of the cells we want to convert this for. Select refresh and insert. And all of the emails we've just generated have now been translated into Spanish for us. The AI function can be incredibly versatile for generating text, summarizing information, categorizing data, and even analyzing sentiment. Remember, the key is to provide clear and specific prompts and to reference the relevant data ranges in your spreadsheet. Also keep in mind that as part of the alpha program, this feature is still evolving. So explore its capabilities and see how it can boost your productivity within Google Sheets. So if you have access to the AI function in Google Sheets, I highly encourage you to give it a try. It's a game changer for data analysis, communication, and so much more. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments how you're using the AI function in your spreadsheets. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful tips and tricks. See you next time.